What is up, my friends? Gary Gilgan, Daily Crypto, back again. I know it's been a couple weeks. I have been traveling. I have been working on other projects. I'm so sorry to have neglected you, but I got a lot of plates spinning in the air right now. I actually own and manage and founded a decentralized cryptocurrency hedge fund. My wife, very successful in her business, so we've been traveling around a lot for her business. Just got a lot going on. I actually, my main, my legacy is actually teaching. I teach personal development. I teach people how to become successful in their lives, how to really transform their lives from the inside out. And we just launched a program, a new class called The Science of Getting Rich for the 21st Century. How to unlock your infinite power to create the life of your dreams. Check that out, GaryGilgancoaching.com. You know what I need to get? I just, uh, check this out. I can obviously see myself at the screen, but I need to get a light so you guys can see my face. You know, I just got a haircut today. You guys be able to see my haircut. But very exciting news. And obviously, being that I manage and own a hedge fund, <clears throat> I am constantly in the news. I am constantly researching and keeping tabs on the crypto market. So even though you haven't seen me for a couple weeks, you know that I am always keeping my finger on the pulse of what's going on. And today is a, today is a day to mark in the books. Bitcoin right now, look at this. We're gonna check after $5,400. We are $8 shy of $5,500. Ethereum down 0.44%, Ripple down 6%, Bitcoin Cash down one and a quarter. Litecoin though, Litecoin up 16 and over three quarters percent. BitConnect up, Ethereum Classic up, Cardano up, Tether up. Been hearing some interesting things about Tether. Man, I mean, uh, the market's pretty interesting. And, and my theory is, is right now all the energy, all the economic energy in this ecosystem is flooding into Bitcoin. You got that FOMO, fear missing out. So you got all the altcoin money that's flowing into Bitcoin right now. They don't want to miss out on those potential gains. So we can see that the altcoin market is suffering. EOS, my top pick for the next 12 months is down 5%, 10x down, salt down, gas down obviously, Gollum down. A lot of the altcoins are down while the gold and silver of cryptocurrency is up. And we are breaking records today, guys. So let's give it up. That's exciting. That's exciting. We're winning. We are winning. There is a if you've seen my other content, you know that I believe that this is a this is a non-violent war against two paradigms. The old paradigm, the old system of finance, the old system of government versus the new system, the digital virtual age. There is a war, a nonviolent war. And we're winning, guys. We're winning. The, the new trailer for Star Wars, The Last Jedi, just came out yesterday. I don't know about you, I'm a big Star Wars fan. I'm a Star Wars nerd. I am a Jedi. I am the Force. The Force is me. And uh, right now, the Rebel Force is winning. We're winning, guys. 
We are winning. We're winning because this guy is eating his shorts. Jamie Dimon. I'm not going to talk about Bitcoin anymore. Because, well, one, you talked about Bitcoin and Bitcoin tanked and then your company, JP Morgan Chase Bank, freaking $70 million investment on the dip. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Good, man. I wouldn't because you look like an idiot. You can't stop evolution. You can't stop this. We're going to keep on moving. We're going to bulldoze this. The world is changing, guys. The world is changing. Get on board. Man, I'm so pumped. So pumped. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm pumped, not for the money. The money's been great. The money is absolutely incredible. But I'm telling you what I value most of all is I value freedom. I value freedom for myself. I value freedom for my family. And I value freedom for you. I honestly value freedom above all else. And I also believe in nonviolence. Okay, I, I'm a very spiritual person. That's what I teach in my other business. That's my primary business. That's my legacy. And uh, I do. I believe in. I believe in absolute abundance for everybody. And people like this guy. They're part of an old paradigm, a paradigm of scarcity. And scarcity is a lack of money, resources, food, clothing, shelter, energy. And that system is the old paradigm. And the old paradigm is going away. And I want for myself what I want for everybody. Abundance, freedom, rich life. I want that for everybody. And I'm telling you, that's what cryptocurrencies are doing. They are decentralizing the powers that be. So exciting, guys. So exciting. Jamie Dimon, man, this guy eating his shorts. JP Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon said he is no longer going to discuss Bitcoin after much his publicized criticism of calling the cryptocurrency a fraud last month. Noted Bitcoin critic and Wall Street banker Jamie Dimon has been known to make a dramatic state to, to been known to make dramatic statements about Bitcoin, calling it a fraud that will get someone killed. The chief executive of, Amer of America's largest bank by assets also said he would fire any employee trading Bitcoin for being stupid. Well, I don't know if it's a hundred percent fact, but I've seen a lot on the old interweb that JP Morgan Chase bought the dip. What a hypocrite, man. I'll tell you what, I can't stand hypocrites. And this guy, I'll tell you what, this guy just looks like a demon. Just looks like a demon. In an earnings conference call today to discuss the bank's third quarter performance with journalists today, Diamond has revealed he will no longer make any comments about the world's most prominent decentralized currency on a day when it surged to a new record all-time high. Jamie told journalists, I wouldn't put this high in the category of important things in the world, but I'm not going to talk about Bitcoin anymore. Hmm. Diamond did leave a parting shot at Bitcoin, claiming JP Morgan moves trillions of dollars a day digitally. It's not cash. The banker has made similar statements belittling Bitcoin in the past. In November 2015, Diamond said Bitcoin is like $2 billion or $3 billion. We, JP Morgan, move $6 trillion a day. Well, 
I, I just love, I just love when people compare. Let's see, uh, how old is JP Morgan Chase Bank? Two hundred and eighteen years old. Two hundred and eighteen years old. Well, Jamie Diamond, I'll talk to you in five years, bud. Because I'll bet in five years, J.P. Morgan Chase Bank isn't even around. You know. This is a, it's a new technology, Bitcoin. And so a lot of people talk about, in fact, I just saw a, um, a debate that Max Kaiser did with Peter Schiff. And I, I come from precious metals. I was a big precious metals uh, uh, investor, speculator for a long period of time. And they just don't get it. The only reason why gold has last has has stood the test of time is because it's been around for a long time cryptocurrency bitcoin especially has only been around for eight years since 2009 and it stood the test of time thus far it has had the most powerful corporations and governments shoot holes in it and it's recovered and it has only increased. It's only increased. In fact, let's take a look at this. JP Morgan Chase. Oh my gosh. Oh man, look at this. JP Morgan Chase Bank. Per share, $95 down 0.85% uh, uh, today. It's down today. So this, this company that homeboy Jamie Dimon is CEO of, over 200 years old, share price a fraction of bitcoin fraction let's see uh market cap oh it's probably already there so mark oh right it was 339 billion so yeah yeah got us beat there but got us beat there but man we've only been around for eight years so man super exciting stuff guys i am pumped on today today has been an absolutely incredible day in the market an absolutely incredible day for crypto i'll tell you what for all the money that i've made in the market today i'm gonna go buy me an led a nice light so you guys can see my pretty face better without all these shadows on my face jamie diamond eating his words eating his shorts Crypto, guys, it's here to stay. Lastly, why big banks are so nervous about Bitcoin. I'll tell you why. Decentralization, freedom, power to the people. Like my brother John Lennon. Power to the people. There was one other thing I wanted to talk about. Was it here? There's another. Uh, I've been seeing Japan and China recently talking about creating a centralized uh, government cryptocurrency. It's not going to work. It's not going to work, I don't believe, because the market is not going to invest. We've already seen what centralized banks do, so the people aren't going to invest. They're garbage. They're garbage, guys. I'm pumped. I'm excited for you. I hope that you had a great day in the market.
Let's see, let's refresh this page one more time and see if Bitcoin hit. Come on, let's make the show good. Dang it, nope, 54.42, <laughs> right here. So, I'm excited guys. Look forward to more stuff. I just did my very first podcast episode with my good friend and crypto investor, Sean Logan. If you wanna learn how to create multiple streams of passive income, passive income in the cryptocurrency space, you've gotta watch this podcast. Very good stuff. You can find it on my page. I'll see you guys on the next video.